Hmm. Yeah, my hair's a mess. Just got up a little while ago. I'm going to be shaving all this off and cutting this down. Yeah. See, it's getting kind of long over here. Really long. It's about uh, a little bit past three fingers. Yeah. Alright, so this is supposed to be an unboxing video of the other purchase that I made, but right now I kind of want to play around with this thing and show it to you. It's not going to be a, like a review of this, but it may sound like one. So anyways, um, this is from TC Electronics, the same place that makes that little clip-on um, tuner that everybody likes that I did a giveaway on quite a while back. Uh, I kind of like this thing now it does take a little bit of work on the higher register of the neck especially on the thinner strings than it does on the thicker strings to get them to start going it has two grooves on each side of the flashlight which everyone thought that this was a flashlight at least a few people did that you rest the strings on and that works out pretty good but if you're going from say like the outside of a low e string you got nothing to rest on on one side kind of wish that they didn't do this in a aluminum uh, or if they you know did it for the aluminum they would have some type of a grip area for your fingers because I have noticed that it does kind of want to slide if you are not gripping it tight enough now the size of it well it's basically the size of a 9 volt battery that's inside of here so I guess there's really not much they could do to make this any smaller Unless they make, you know, a USB one where it's rechargeable. Now, I'm going to play around with this thing a little bit. And uh, I got my recording software up. And I got to start a uh, new stereo track. And see if I can get this thing going. So this is going to be the beginning part of, what is it, uh, With or Without You from YouTube. And it's not going to be exactly the same thing as what the song is. This is just going to be a quick demonstration of this. Just a little quickie. And uh, so, yeah, so let's get it going. Not too bad. I mean, you kind of get the idea how this works. So, let's get on to the unboxing. Hello, folks. We have a little unboxing to do. We have here a bubble wrap. Excuse me while I get rid of this. Sorry, but can't resist. All right, so what we have here is a brand new Gator Case bag. 
with tags on it and everything. So what is in this Gator case bag? Well, first off, let's check drawer number one. Nothing in drawer number one. Now let's check drawer number two. Oh, that was nice. I pulled both zippers and it just zipped it right back up. All right, so what we have here is a very, very nice, very nice Epiphone base. And uh, other than being a little bit dirty, everything else looks pretty damn good. So this is the Epiphone, um, what is that, EB0, I believe it's called. And uh, it doesn't have the plastic on the pick guard, but it does have a little bit of pick scratches on it. I can clean that up really, really fucking easy. And it still has the plastic on the back cover. I could peel that off, not a problem. So yeah, it's not in tune. Yeah, it's not in tune. I am going to have to do a little bit of a setup on this thing. Action height seems somewhat all right. Let's see here. No cracks on each side of the nut. No. No scarf joint at all on this. But Epiphone does do a thing where they do have a... There's a line right here and the angle the cut almost like a scarf drawing over here the, with the headstock and tuners look all right not open back tuners bolt on neck screw on neck sorry and there's no physical damage to this thing anywhere other than being a little bit on the dusty side and fingerprints uh, the output jack is a little bit loose, so I will have to tighten that up, but yeah. So here we have a Epiphone SG base. Pretty snazzy. I wonder if this thing got new strings on it. They look like new strings. They don't look like they've been played. They're not dirty or nothing. I might just leave the strings on here and just set it up with the strings. Action height at the first fret looks very, very good. I know there's no tension on the neck right now, but let's see if there's any relief in it. Nope, right now the neck is pretty straight. No twist in the neck. Yeah, neck is pretty straight. Neck is too straight. <coughs> so yeah, another two add to my collection. Not bad. Not a bad at all. All right, so there's my unboxing. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, you guys be good. I'll catch up with all of you all. On a later date. Right? Maybe? Yes? No? Take it easy, guys.